Leo, uh, heartbreaking loss there at the end, being held over the try line. Did so much, so right for so much of that game, but uh, the way it finished must be bitterly disappointing. Uh, yeah, credit to the lads. Like they, they fought to the very end, uh, literally. Um, and yeah, like getting held up, you know, we, we've talked about it quite a bit once they brought that ruling in about getting held up. It's a killer way to end the game. Um, but that's how the game ends, unfortunately, for us. So we, we probably, you know, obviously we do some great stuff to get ourselves in that situation where we have an opportunity to win the game. Uh, but there's bits of composure bits during the course of the game that let us down. So that's the important thing for, you know, you, go, you come away to a place like this. Um, again, some of the quality of players that the opposition have. Um, so, but you need, you need to nail lots of moments in the game. So there was certain moments out there today that we didn't quite nail. And the most obvious one is towards the end. So, um, yeah, there's there's rich learning in it. Um, it's tough to take at the moment. You know, the guys are they're disappointed there in the dressing rooms. Um, but you know, for us now, it's a, it's a losing bonus points. We we turn our attention now to Cape Town and another tough game against the Stormers. Some of those lessons, I'm sure, will be around just the atmosphere that was here this evening. Obviously, going to Cape Town, a bigger stadium more crowd again next week and for that young gang as you mentioned that have been out here and performed so well again another stepping stone and hopefully they can kick on now next week yeah exactly yeah it was so strange you know such a big crowd here like the conditions here are, are different just in terms of the climate humidity ball slippy uh, then you're in the warm-up and you've the cheerleaders are running through your handling drills so there was definitely a few things that we'd seen for the very very first time um, but you know, it's it's such a valuable experience. You know, you think of some of the guys that are making their Leinster debuts today. You know, Ronan pulling out just this, the, earlier on today. Uh, so John McKee coming in to, to make his Leinster debut, and you know Lee Barron, who we only flew out late in the week as well. So he arrived here on Thursday morning, and you know to come into that type of atmosphere, uh, like it's just it's an incredible experience for them. So Brian Deeney then in the second row. So really pleased for the three of those guys and other young guys. You know, you know. They're, you're, you're talking second, third, fourth caps, you know, in other positions. So, um, yeah, like it really stands to the guys, you know, playing against a big, powerful team uh, that's stacked with so much experience. So, World Cup winners in there and all the rest. So, um, but, you know, again, like there's, with all the positives, there's still that frustration with us there um, that we get ourselves in a good position. And not just at the end, but there's other moments in the game as well. You know, try just before half time, don't quite get our kick chase right. Um, you know, and, and Sharks take their try well. So there was a few of those moments in the game. So, uh, but that's that's all part of the learning process. Um, effort, great. It's just some of that accuracy piece that we need to improve upon. And just finally, Leo, it's getting very interesting at the top of the URC table. Obviously, Stormers with that win yesterday, and that's where we head to next week. It's getting uh, tight up there. Yeah, well, even the point there is, is valuable, as I said. You know, so fair play to the lads. Like they, they dug it out, got a point, um, and you know, there's there's plenty going on in the games, in some of the head-to-heads, and I'm glad we're a little bit further up the table um, in terms of that little bit of a buffer that we still have. So, um, yeah, like you can just see how closely you know the teams are now in terms of you know the the top end of the table and you know like you see the South African teams are totally stacked at the moment uh, they don't have the distraction of European competition either so you know as teams you know like the, the, the weekends where they can sort of recharge the batteries and put fuel in the tank so to speak as well so that's an advantage you know next year the South African teams will be in Europe so they'll have to deal with that uh, the dual focus or war on two fronts as we, we've talked about in the past so um, but again that, that's just it's the beauty of the competition in many ways isn't it so um, yeah like it was it's proper URC we saw it out there today um, so yeah no it's it's as I said it's there's plenty of things we can we can improve upon thank you Leo. thank you